Okay, so this is part two to my integration by parts video. This time we're going to take the same integral, the integral of x times radical x minus 1, only we're going to do u substitution. And there's kind of a funny thing that happens when you do u substitution. Uh, you, we're going to get a different answer than what we got via integration by parts. Uh, so let me just remind you what our answer from integration by parts was. So we had x radical x minus 1 equals x times 2 thirds x minus 1 3 halves minus 4 fifteenths x minus 1 5 halves and so this was our answer for the integral when we did integration by parts. And when we do this same integral via u substitution, we're going to get a little bit of a different answer. And there's a very simple explanation for that that I'll get to at the end. So let's just continue on, and we'll start this problem like it's brand new. We're going to do x radical x minus 1 u substitution. So we're going to set our u equal to x minus 1. And because we have an x out front, we have to also solve for what x would equal. And x in this case is going to equal u plus 1. So now we can rewrite our integral using u. We have u plus 1 times u to the 1 half. So now we just need to distribute our 1 half amongst both. So we get u to the 3 halves plus u to the 1 half. And you can separate these out now that we've got the plus sign in here, and we can integrate from there. So now that we have this, let's split it up into integral of u to the 3 halves and integral of u to the 1 half put a little plus sign in there and that gets us 2 fifths times u to the 5 halves plus 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. Now, you know, th the other way I usually would write this would be u to the 5 halves over 5 halves, but dividing by a fraction, you're just going to multiply by the reciprocal anyway, so this is just a faster way to write it out for you guys. And from here, we can plug our u back in, which we had above was u equals x minus 1. And let's plug that back in. So we get 2 fifths x minus 1 to the 5 halves plus 2 thirds x minus 1 3 halves. And that's our final answer from our integral. And as you can probably tell already, that this answer is different from our original uh, answer x times two thirds x to the three halves x plus one to the three halves minus four fifteenths x plus one five halves. So you can see that these two answers are different, and if anybody knows why. Yeah, Jimmy, you're correct. It's because of our plus C here. Our constant of integration is going to be our difference between these two answers. And you can prove this by setting these two answers equal to each other, and they'll actually equal zero. So uh, you, the constant of integration, plus C, will alter your answers in various ways. So doing the integral in different methods by integration by parts like down here or 
you substitution like right there, you may come up with slightly varying answers, but both answers are correct so long as you have your plus C at the end. Thanks for watching. I'm Adam Beebe. Have a good day.